Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are all having an awesome day today. If you guys are, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I failed 10th grade. So let's get right into the video. I previously made a video a couple years ago on how I failed 9th grade. And you guys seem to really love that. And a lot of you guys can actually relate to it. So that's why I'm making this video too. If you guys are in the same situation, I promise that it will get better. Just keep going. Lift your head up. I promise, guys, you will get through it. But anyway. Anyway, let's get right into it so I've never really been a good school student ever since I don't know third grade I think third grade was actually the last time I received honor roll if you guys don't know what honor roll is it's basically where you receive all A's and B's on your report card so yeah my last time I did that was third grade which is absolutely insane yeah I've never really been a great school student I really never liked school I never really liked doing any of the work homework all of that stuff I really never enjoyed any of it I just like to come home and play video games and make YouTube videos that's really all I did throughout like the the past five years but uh yeah i did fail 10th grade and um basically so if you guys didn't know i did fail 9th grade i'll leave the link to that video down in the description like i said you guys are killing that video but if you guys didn't know i failed 9th grade i failed like four classes that year and my credit wasn't like up to par with what it was supposed to be so yes i was held back 9th grade and i finally caught myself up but then when it came to next year i kind of did the same thing again so instead of me moving on to my junior year the following year i'm still stuck in 10th grade with all these you know people that are a year younger than me and it kind of sucked I was in all these like lower classes and stuff like that and none of it was any of the teachers fault it was obviously my fault because I didn't really want to do the work or anything like that but you know I did what I did and I got held back in 10th grade again and uh, basically I did everything I did by freshman year I didn't do any homework I didn't really you know listen to any teachers I was always late to school I, I never really did any tests I never studied I, I never did anything I, did, I just like slept every class and all that stuff and it kind of sucked I'm not gonna lie because I missed so much work that I ended up having to do anyway so I don't know why I just didn't do it the first time but yeah I never really did any of the work and I found myself in 10th grade once again while all my friends were you know juniors and it, it kind of sucked it really did suck but around the end of my junior year after I finally caught up and I was with all of my friends again, I finally realized that, yes, high school sucks, but try to make the most of it. Right now, it's 2020, quarantine. You know, all the people in high school don't even know if they're going back to high school anytime soon. So I just want you guys to know that if you guys are in the same situation as I was, you know, just keep on trying, guys. If you guys don't like school, find other alternatives. Ask your parents for help. Ask counselors for help. Don't be afraid to, you know, ask somebody for help if you are having trouble because I was always Always that quiet kid in the back that never really wanted to do anything never even wanted to ask for help because I felt like if I just ask the teachers for help they're just gonna tell me to figure it out anyway so that's really why I never really did well in school and uh, my parents they, they were kind of upset or my grandparents because I do live with my grandparents they were kind of upset that I failed again like who actually fails two times in a row like do you guys know anyone that has failed two times in a row please let me know in the comments but I know like a lot of people out there are in the same situation that I was in a couple of years ago and that's why I wanted to make this video I wanted to comfort you guys because I remember back when I was in the same situation I didn't really have anybody to talk to I didn't really have anybody I could relate to because every one of my friends they were all good in school you know they all did what they had to do they all passed and everything and I was like the only kid well I, it felt like I was the only kid and now that I have YouTube I can hopefully relate to a bunch of you guys out there that are in the same situation and by all means guys school school's not the end of the world okay if you guys are failing school it's not the end of the world I know your parents and a lot of people uh, have their own opinions but I personally here to tell you guys that I failed three grades in high school and I'm doing way better than half my friends that didn't fail at all so uh, it just comes down to you know what you make out of it and stuff like that so I really hope this video did help you guys out if you guys have any questions about me failing 10th grade please let me know in the comments down below and like I said whether it's first grade guys or whether it's 12th grade let me know in the comments if you guys are struggling or if you guys are failing because I'm here to give you guys my advice and help you guys as much as I can thank you guys so much for watching I hope you did enjoy the video like I said let me know in the comments if you want me to make another video on how I failed 11th grade that video will be awesome just like this video video and my ninth grade video was but thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out i love you all